Hello, our paper is about the winner's curse bias in online experiments. Online controlled experiments, or A-B testing, has been a standard framework adopted by most online product companies to measure the effect of any new change. Nowadays, experimentation platforms can run as many as hundreds or even more experiments simultaneously. At Airbnb, we run controlled online experiments to learn and make decisions at every step of product development, from design to algorithms. Many sources of bias affect our experiment results. In this work, we focus on selection bias. Running an experiment always involves a selection process. First, we design the experiment. Then, we use statistical tests on the metrics we care about. And if we find it successful, we launch the new feature and attribute the experiment. But if we run many experiments, it's very likely to overestimate the total effect from successful experiments. Here is an example showing that the selection process introduces bias. Suppose that we run 10 experiments. The black numbers are the observed changes in a metric from 10 experiments. And the gold numbers are the true effects in the metric. Suppose that we used significance level 0.05, so the cutoff is around 2%. If we select the three experiments with metrics larger than 2%, the bottom-up estimate is 8.6%, where the true effect is 6%. So in this case, the bias is 2.6%. Naturally, bias is higher when statistical significance is lower. This plot shows the expected bias at various fixed p-values. In our paper, we formulate the bias and propose a novel way to correct for it. We also construct a confidence interval around the bias corrected estimate. For more information, please read our paper or our post on Airbnb Data Science Medium blog. Thank you for watching.